Can an outdated bomber with a maximum speed of less than 0.8 Mach, no stealth design, and a massive radar signature successfully penetrate the air defense system of the U.S. aircraft carrier strike group, which boasts the world's most stringent air defense network, and deliver lethal munitions? This seemingly absurd proposition actually forms the core component of China's current anti-ship system. The combination of H-6 bombers equipped with long-range anti-ship missiles. Debates over its penetration capabilities have never ceased, but a thorough analysis of its operational mode and technical details often yields unexpected conclusions. We must clearly recognize that the core essence of the H-6 anti-ship operational concept does not lie in whether the bomber platform itself can pierce through the enemy's layered air defense network like a dagger. The H-6 role within this system is fundamentally that of a powerful and reliable airborne missile launcher. Its core mission is not to rely on its own performance for daring penetration, but to leverage its substantial range and payload capacity to safely transport powerful anti-ship missiles to designated launch positions. Once the missiles are within effective range, the task of breaking through the enemy fleet's defense perimeter is entirely entrusted to the missile's own capabilities. Therefore, the H-6 lack of stealth, relatively slow speed, and limited maneuverability do not significantly impair its anti-ship capabilities. The key lies in its ability to safely launch missiles outside the enemy fleet's air defense fire zone. China's current air-launched anti-ship ace, the YJ-18 missile, with its astonishing range of 600 kilometers, is the cornerstone that makes this operational model viable. This means the H-6 only needs to venture into airspace approximately 600 kilometers away from the U.S. Carrier Strike Group to launch the missile with ease. The protective shield that the U.S. Carrier Strike Group relies on for survival has an air defense radius far below this figure. The most advanced standard 6 air defense missile currently deployed on U.S. Naval vessels has a maximum range that is continuously being improved but publicly available data indicates that its effective intercept range is typically considered to be within the 370-400 km range. A harsh reality is that even if the H-6 dares to approach within 400 km of the carrier strike group, U.S. ship-based air defense missiles would be unable to reach it, leaving the H-6 in a relatively safe zone. At this point, the pressure shifts entirely to the U.S. Navy's terminal defense systems, can they effectively intercept incoming YJ-18 missiles? The answer is not optimistic. The YJ-18 poses a significant challenge to U.S. Naval Air Defense Commanders primarily due to its integration of two highly formidable penetration characteristics, ultra-low altitude sea skimming flight capability and terminal supersonic sprinting. In terms of flight altitude, the YJ-18 can sustain ultra-low altitude flight at an extreme altitude of approximately 5 to 8 meters above the sea surface for extended periods. This flight altitude cleverly exploits the Earth's curvature for concealment and the complex electromagnetic clutter from the sea surface for interference. When enemy ship-based radar beams attempt to detect such ultra-low altitude targets, their effective detection range is significantly reduced due to the curvature of the sea surface while the intense clutter reflected from the sea surface easily overwhelms the missile's signal. By the time U.S. warship radars finally discern the YJ-18's presence amid the clutter, the missile may already be dangerously close, within just tens of kilometers or even closer, leaving an extremely brief reaction window for defense systems. Even more deadly is the yj 18 speed characteristics. It overturns the conventional perception that subsonic cruise missiles are slow. During the terminal penetration phase, the YJ-18 can accelerate to an astonishing 3 Mach in an instant, the standard 2-block IIIB, improved Sea Sparrow, and even the RAM close in missile defense systems, will face unprecedented challenges under such pressure. When several H-6 bombers form a formation and launch a salvo of over a dozen or more YJ-18 missiles, creating a saturation attack scenario, the carrier strike group's chances of intercepting all the missiles would be dismally low. Of course, this air-launched anti-ship system based on the H-6 is not static, it is constantly evolving and upgrading in line with China's rapid military technological progress. The emergence of the YJ-21 missile has brought revolutionary changes. Widely regarded as the most powerful anti-ship missile currently in service worldwide, its air-launched variant has not been officially announced but its technical feasibility is extremely high. The YJ-21 is a typical example of a hypersonic anti-ship missile, with a maximum flight speed exceeding Mach 5 and a maximum range exceeding 1,000 km, outperforming the YJ-18 in all key performance metrics. It employs a unique high arc trajectory flight mode. The booster stage propels it to the edge of the atmosphere or beyond, then releases the hypersonic glide vehicle, 
which dives at high speed toward the target along an unpredictable trajectory. This trajectory mode prevents it from utilizing the low-altitude sea skimming stealth penetration tactics employed by the YJ-18. However, its extreme speed advantage alone serves as the most potent penetration capability. A terminal speed exceeding Mach 5, combined with potential maneuverable trajectory changing capabilities, poses an almost insurmountable challenge to any existing ship-based air defense and missile defense systems. Once the air-launched variant is mature, the H-6K-N J series ability to launch the YJ-21 from over 1,000 kilometers away will render U.S. aircraft carrier defense perimeters virtually ineffective. Another highly promising development direction is the replacement of manned platforms with unmanned ones. The Jiu Tian large scale long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, which made a stunning debut at the 2024 Zhuhai Air Show, is a prime example of this trend. With key parameters including a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 16 tons, and a payload capacity of approximately 6 tons. The Jushin fully meets the requirements for carrying heavy anti-ship missiles like the YJ-18. Compared to the manned H-6, the Jushin UAV offers a decisive advantage in terms of cost-effectiveness. Its unit production cost and daily maintenance, training, and operational expenses are significantly lower than those of large bombers. Additionally, its ultra-long range of 7,000 km provides far superior sustained combat zone patrol, and deterrence capabilities compared to the H-6. Looking ahead, the advanced equipment currently under development in China will bring a significant leap in capability to the air-based anti-ship system. The highly anticipated H-20 stealth strategic bomber, once operational, will offer value far beyond its stealth penetration capabilities. Its greatest advantage lies in its massive size. This massive platform translates into unparalleled payload capacity. While the H-6 typically carries 1-2 to two YJ-18 class heavy missiles, the H-20 is expected to easily carry 4-6 to six or more, achieving a qualitative leap in single aircraft saturation strike capability. More importantly, its large missile bay and payload capacity make it feasible to carry air-launched anti-ship ballistic missiles. The land-based DF-21D has a range exceeding 1,500 km, and its air-launched variant, even after adaptive modifications, would undoubtedly maintain a range of over 1,000 km. Imagine this, an H-20 with an operational radius of over 4,000 km launching air-launched anti-ship ballistic missiles with a range exceeding 1,000 km from thousands of kilometers outside enemy territory. Therefore, returning to the original sharp question, what is the success rate of H-6 bombers attacking U.S. aircraft carriers? The answer is now clear. Evaluating the H-6 platform's penetration capabilities in isolation inevitably places it in the most unfavorable single dimension for assessment, leading to a pessimistic conclusion. However, the ingenuity of China's anti-ship system lies precisely in its reliance not on the solo efforts of a single platform, but on the construction of a precise kill chain based on the platform missile system framework. The value of the H-6 lies in its role as a reliable, mature long-range missile carrier and launch platform. Leveraging the range advantage of missiles, like the YJ-18 21sts which far exceed the enemy's air defense firepower zone, it achieves an asymmetric combat effect where I can hit you, but you can't hit me. The YJ-18, with its combination of ultra-low-altitude sea skimming and terminal supersonic speeds, and the YJ-21, relying on its hypersonic speeds and high arc trajectory, both significantly reduce the effective intercept window and success rate of carrier strike group defense systems. The upcoming transition to unmanned systems will enhance the economic efficiency and endurance of the system, while the introduction of the H-20 will bring revolutionary improvements in payload, range, and strike capability, and may unlock the ultimate weapon, air-launched anti-ship ballistic missiles. Faced with this interconnected, continuously evolving system, no adversary's aircraft carrier can rest easy. The H-6 and its successor forces are one of the key leverage points for disrupting the balance of oceanic hegemony.